celebrities are the most selfish bitches on the planet. Now you're probably going, what do you mean they're selfish? Well, if you want their autograph when you go to a meet and greet or if you go to Comic Con or events or whatever, you have to pay th them money to get that autograph. If you want to get a picture with them, even if you're taking it with your own picture, you know, your own camera, you have to pay for that. Now they have a thing that I was watching on Entertainment Tonight that if you want to get a shout out by your favorite celebrity to give you a shout out in a video, you have to pay them money. And the reason why I call them selfish celebrities is because they make you pay for pictures, autographs, and shout outs. When they should be doing it because of the kindness of their heart and to say, thank you for being a fan. If it wasn't for you being a fan, then I wouldn't be popular and famous and be doing all these movies. Because of, the, because of us, the fans, giving you publicity and telling people how cool you are and going and watching your movies and watching you sing and do all these different things, you should be happy to want to give us a shout out an autograph or a picture for free. Why should we have to pay for it? We could just take away your fame just like that and say boycott so and so because they make you pay for a shout out, a photo, and an autograph. And that's not cool. Then you won't be popular or famous anymore and nobody, you won't be relevant and nobody will want anything to do with you or know who you are. So you need to pay us pay us fans back for buying your merchandise and and for watching your movies, going you know, paying to buy your DVDs and posters and whatnot, your music. By it saying, Thanks for being minimal and fan. Here's a shout out. Here's an autograph. Here's a picture. That's why I liked Vern. R. I. P. Vern. Mini Me from Austin Powers because when people sent him fan mail and asked for a picture or an autograph or they even gave him a piece of paper and said hey could you autograph it and send it back to me he goes no I'm gonna do something better I'm gonna give you a real nice headshot with my autograph on it and he does that and he does really good I, and he does it for free he didn't say oh pay me to do this He's like, if you see me at Comic Con and stuff, and you and you pay to get all this stuff, or just send me a fan mail saying you want all this stuff, and you can have it for free, because I want to pay my fans back for being there, for being my fans. I, we need more celebrities like that, because he's not heartless. He thinks it's stupid to make you pay for a photo or an autograph, and I think it's stupid too. Tell me in the comments below what you think. I am going to get back to my chicken. I've been sick all day and all night. Throwing up like crazy. And this is the first meal I could have without getting sick. Even had to miss work for it. I'm Boney and Boney. Now leave me alone so I can eat my dinner. I don't know when this video is going up, but Yusuf... Uh, Fuzzy 2 made a video that made sense. Words can hurt. People don't understand how words can hurt a person, even after they ignore or block them or delete the words that they read. The words are still in in your head. They don't. Let me edit that because I said a head instead of red. Head red. Understand that words can hurt. And that the mean things you say about that person carries on. He got to the point that every time he heard something mean about himself, he wanted to commit suicide. Well, here's a secret for y'all. Every time someone's mean to me, or they don't give me the attention that I like, or they don't 
care about things that happen to me, I feel that way too. It makes me rage. People who I thought were my friends are not really my friends, but yet, for some reason, I want attention so bad that I feel like if I ignore them, block them, get rid of them, that I wouldn't have any friends. Even if you're doing it in a joking way, that person might not take it as a joke. When you call them a name, and then you say, oh, I'm just joking. Yeah, you did it as a joke, but to them, it's not a joke, it hurts. Like when I told my so-called friends online that two days ago, or yeah, two days ago, on the 12th, I was really badly sick, all night, all day. Couldn't sleep, I was throwing up, I had headaches, stomach aches, back pains, arm pains, because I had to do at work two days of dining. And that put me in a bad position where it got me really badly sick, because I was mopping all by myself. But somebody at work told me, oh, I had to do your job last night. And they told me it was dining for the third time. I'm like, really? That's what got me sick in the first place. But it just hurts. And then what hurts is, if I did something to offend you, could you please tell me so we could fix it and talk about it? Because I don't like my friends mad at me. But when I told people online that I was sick for two days and that's why I wasn't online and stuff, only two people cared. No one else said anything. So if you're watching this, Missy, thank you for for caring. And Wolfie, thank you for caring. And yes, me and my friend Jay were on call last night. And he did, you know, ask about it when I got on call. Maybe it's better for him to say it in voice than to type it, which is fine. So thank you for that. But still, when other people say, oh, I'm sick, they're like, oh, my God, I hope you get better. Oh, that sucks. But when I say it, ignore, ignore, ignore. Then today, I just found out on September 14th, 2018, I am thinking, God, thanks for not making it in October, because that's the worst month of my life for people who passed away in my family, because I have so many people that passed away in October, glad they made it September, but it's still sad that it happened. My oldest cousin, who kind of got on my nerves because I was trying to talk to, to him about my computer and he bitched at me about it and yelled at me. He's the type of person that was an alcoholic that had to have a drink every minute. If he didn't have a drink for two seconds, he would freak out and start sh shivering and shaking until he got that drink. So that could have a part in to why he passed away today. But he left behind two young girls. Two daughters. And yes, he tells it like it is. The reason why I'm kind of like him because he was mean to his mom sometimes. Anyways, this is personal stuff. I shouldn't be talking about it. Just that I told people today that, hey, my cousin passed away. It's really sad. He left behind two young girls. I was kind of upset about it. I cried when I woke up. And yes, I woke up at noon. Shocking, I know. But I hadn't been getting sleep for the past two days. So it was a good thing. Anyway, so I told them, and only one person goes, Oh, I'm sorry for your loss. Well, thank you. So, Poke, if you're watching this, I doubt you are. But if you are, thank you. Now, I know, don't give me this sob story about, Well, I was at school when it happened. I was at work when you said this. Doesn't matter. When you get on, you could have looked down the list and go, oh, let me say something about that. But you didn't. Tonight when I get home from work, if anybody's going to say anything, we'll have to wait and see. And if they do, they do. If they don't, they don't. I'm not going to fuss about it. From now on, when I have information like that, I'm just going to put it on my Facebook. And if they read it, they read it. If they don't, they don't. If they don't have me on there, oh well. If they do, oh well. I'll put it on Twitter if it's not too personal. And if they don't 
read it, that's their fault. If they read it, fine. If they don't, fine. It's not going to bother me anymore because I'm tired of typing stuff on Discord and get it ignored and nobody listens. I don't like being ignored. I'm sorry that I like attention and I like people caring about me and I get really excited and happy when people do and that's why I love walking into work and people going, hey girl, what's up? And shaking their hands at me and going, what's up? How are you? And, and all this stuff. It was kind of weird that when other people are sick, they're like, oh, how were you? How badly sick were you? Are you okay now? But I only had two people that cared. Like, really? But, uh, but they are happy to see me. And then they, we just look at each other and know what we're thinking and just start laughing. And it's like, we can read each other's minds type of thing. It's pretty cool. But anyways, I just wanted to make this quick video. I don't even know if it's quick. Probably not. Looking at the time. I just wanted to let you guys know that when you leave a mean comment on someone's YouTube video and and then someone else goes, oh, if you don't like the hate comments, just delete them and block them. And then you'll never get them again. No, you're going to always keep getting them over and over and over again. And yes, you block them. Yes, you delete the comments. But yet, what you just read is still going to be planted in your head. That this is how people think about me. So yes, the more, the more times you delete the hate comments and block them, the more positive comments you'll get. Because people will be like, oh, I can't hate on this guy's video. Everyone's being so nice to him. I'll be nice too. But if they see hate, they're going to be like, oh, this person's used to hate. I'm just going to leave more. Not knowing that the more hate they get, the more upset they get, the more they just don't want to do YouTube anymore. And I don't know if you watch a guy named Garrett, Shane Dawson's friend, but I give him two thumbs up for decluttering his house. What motivated him to do that? I need motivation to do that to my bedroom. Anyways, with that said, I'm going to get going. I will talk to you later. Just remember, when you leave comments on other people's videos, think about what you're saying to them before saying it. And when you say it, say, is this hate? And if you feel like you need to vent about someone's video, do it on Facebook or Twitter without tagging them so they don't see it. Then you'll feel better about yourself for saying something hateful. The only reason why you say hate for things is because you don't like your life. Maybe you should start loving your life so that you don't leave hate. I'm Bunny and Bunny. Now leave me and Fuzzy to alone.